Hey, Doug, how you doing? Good to see you again. Good to see you. Welcome to Boston Whaler. It was great to uh, get together with you at the New York Boat Show. It's good to see you again. And, and, and uh, I have to thank you for inviting us down to the factory for a tour. Pleasure. Um, I know that our, our, our viewers are going to be excited about seeing how, Hope so. how those gorgeous boats are made and the quality behind it. I'll give you the mic and we'll get started. Okay. Here we go. Decision. Body. Different pipes of fabric to include fiberglass. Obviously, we can maximize the material, eliminating as much waste as possible. Materials that go into a boat above beyond what people normally think, which is generally just fiberglass and resin. Marine grade plywood, all sorts of different types of composite material. We actually call this whale board, which in certain applications is stronger than aluminum. All these pieces come together to build the Boston Whale. Everything is pre-cut, kitted, and it's all consumed. Basically use a scale to measure how that was done. And now as you can see with all the piping in here, We've got computers that are, uh, that are measuring quantities and making sure that what goes into our boats is just the right amount and just the right proportion. When people ask me what's the difference between a Boston Whaler and, I say if you want to take it down to the lowest common denominator, it's the hull. Okay, we just saw the molding tools. I see the guys laying up a hull and there are some liners in the, in the background, but how do you get the foam in between the hull and the liner? Power Finger PK 10,000. It uh, eliminates the need to have uh, people standing on top of the tools uh, with buckets of uh, two-part foam. This is a heck of a lot better. As hulls are being built, the small parts that are going to go onto those hulls are being built here. In a perfect world, everything leaves this building at the same time and converts into a boat. This is where hulls, this is where parts are made. And in another building is where all those pieces come together to make a boat. Uh -huh. These pieces will be added to a boat yeah, later. It comes through this room and it's gone over with a fine tooth comb. And that's not to mean that it needs to have anything done to it. What it does mean is that uh, there's someone taking a look at everything that we're doing to ensure we're getting it right. That's surrounded by fiberglass. Or to put it another way, a fiberglass shell that is filled with nothing but structural foam. No wood. Oh yeah, there's wood. Oh, there's wood in Wood there. galore. Remember I took you in the back room? Yeah. We have wood, but everything, everything quote inside of this hall is entombed. Okay. It is entombed in foam. Foam and glass. It's correct. And we have composites, we have wood, we have aluminum. This is going to cap on top of that hull and it'll be mechanically attached. And this is a piece that we made and all sorts of attachments are being put on it as and well as the hull. It's going to move up the line. That's correct. Uh, the fuel tank from here. That's correct. Uh, 345 actually. It's our largest cabin boat all these materials around the boat will be consumed. Where the foam, when it expanded with the heat and the pressure, actually turned these two pieces into one. Solid. That's correct. Now I get it. That, that's where the overflow foam comes out, those small holes along the uh, shot. <laughs> and it was attached to the Boston Weather Hall. This is the 370 Outrage, the same one that we had in New York that you actually uh, videoed. It was the large white boat next to the blue boat. Man, I, I'm sure glad I got to see this as it happens, because these guys are totally focused on quality and safety, of course. Uh, but every step of the way, I guess that's how you build a good boat. Don't skip. 
Looks like even the smaller boats get the same kind of detailing and attention that we do for each step. What's the final finish? Uh -huh. Right now, yeah. making sure that uh, the fit and finish is up to uh, our whaler customer's expectations. Looks like a jewel. You're doing your part for the brand. Okay. This assembly room right here, it goes out here. It's wrapped. And this boat is heading up the interstate sometime this week to Maryland. There they go. I'm, I'm, all, I'm guessing there's going to be a happy customer when that 32 arrives in Chesapeake Bay. Oh. Coming. That was a great tour, but just in case our custom, our, our readers want some more information, where should they go? Whaler.com. Whaler.com. That'll get it there. And great they can, website. They can see all of the boats. Everything's there. Everything. All we, sorts of links. We gave them a little inside view that they won't see on that. You got it. Okay. Thanks again. Okay, Jeff.